What's up everybody? Yeah, I know I've been doing a lot of car reviews, but we're still gonna work on cars together. And we got something cool for you. Uh, as you guys know, the Fiesta has tons of miles on it, 226,300 something. So I figured 226,000 miles, perfect time to start some modifications, of course. Uh, if you're not familiar with this car, um, I bought it with 16,000 miles on. The only thing that's been done to it is the Cobb rear motor mount and the Cobb exhaust. Today, we have an extremely rare piece of Ford performance history. Okay, so we're just gonna unbox this, take a look at it together. Wow, this is difficult to find. You can't just buy these anywhere, especially not on Amazon. It's so valuable that they put it in two different bags. This is the Ford performance official ST six speed shift knob and uh, it's gonna go right in the Fiesta here. Now, if you're not familiar with these cars, a shift knob swap is not as trivial as most cars. It's not something simple like replacing a turbo or swapping a transmission. It takes a little bit more effort. So today we're gonna talk about how you can swap your Fiesta ST shift knob in under an hour, but do keep in mind, I have a lot of experience working on cars. I'm pretty good at doing this sort of thing pretty quickly. So let's get right to it. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So obviously the first thing we're gonna do here is we gotta crack our shift knob loose. Uh, it's, you gotta have a lot of muscles. I mean, I don't like to brag or anything, but you have to be pretty strong. Oh, it's not easy. Like it wasn't loose or easy. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna back this off a couple threads, and then once we have it started, uh, you guys know what time it is. You've, you've placed chip knobs before, I'm sure. We gotta get the jack out. Jack up your car. Oh, this cable. Oh, ha ha, it's the kid from Heath the Robinsons. Yeah, I get it. Anyway, if you're switching your shift knob, obviously you're gonna wanna have an uh, oil spill mat, which obviously goes under the car. Here we go. I'm confident it's a thirst, thirst heat, mostly. I don't know for sure though. Let's drain this bad boy. Hey, can you give me a different size socket camera machine? Yeah, it's a 17. Okay. Just make sure you cut that out. I want people to think I know what I'm doing. Of course, yeah. And it was a 17, as I knew. Break that bad mammer jammer loose. And I put a magnetic drain plug in it last time I uh, changed the shift off. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pipe and hot still. Oh, there it goes in the oh, wall. Oh, it's over the back. Oh. <laughs> oh. You want me to cut that out too? Yeah, probably don't put that in. I don't want people to think I'm stupid, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, I got the spill mat out and then missed it anyway. <laughs> Imagine putting that on YouTube. I would be ridiculed. I always like to put gloves on when I take the oil filter off. That way the uh, hose clamp down there can cut them and rip them off my hand. I can get oil all over my hands anyway. It's just a, it's like a little ritual at this point. And then uh, we'll see if the filter feels like coming off or if it's gonna be one of those days where tools get thrown and swear words get heard. It's already halfway up, it's gonna start leaking oil now. Oh, it's leaking oil now. <laughs> <laughs> the quarter turn game on the strap wrench. Oh. Dude, this thing's boiling hot. They say you should have your oil at running temp when you're changing it. I like to do it at overheating temp. I drive up the Cajon Pass with the AC on full blast when it's 105, wait for the gauge to get all the way to the top and immediately pull over and change the oil. I think you could speed run it by taking all the coolant out too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how you get it out fastest. You get the car super hot and it spews it out for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you just pop a new head gasket in there and then you throw some coolant in it and you're good. Boom. Oh, shit. Oil changed. <laughs> Dude, it's actually impossible to change the oil in this car without making a giant mess. <laughs> because the filter is, like, perpendicular to the engine. Is that uh -huh. the right word? Yeah. I think so, yeah. And it's on the oil cooler. There's two hoses. 
So when you take the oil filter off, you have to wedge it out between the two hoses and you basically have to pour oil down the entire oil cooler and over both of those hoses. So you have to use an entire can of brake clean to clean up the disaster you made when you put your oil filter on it. Perfect. I actually don't know if I can hold on to the oil filter long enough right now to get it out. That's how hot it is. I forgot I did the FL400S too, which is the bigger oil filter. So there's a lot more oil in it than usual. Ah. Uh. Oh, pitch. <coughs> it's important when you change your shift knob to use an OEM Motorcraft oil filter, okay? And see this little rubber ring? stare at it for a second and then put it on the car without putting any oil on it because it literally doesn't make a difference okay i just usually spit on it oh yeah <laughs> that makes sense i pre lubricated you can't do it with dirty oil I, I never do it never see how easy it just came off let me tell you i've had times where i did do it on other cars and it was still impossible to take the oil filter off sometimes it's impossible to take the oil filter off this one you know why? Because it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with it. It's tight. Dude, look. It didn't even rip the glove open. Maybe I just need to say that every time. Oh, do you see the sweat go yeah. straight into my eye? And so thank you guys are watching this video. You, right now you're watching this, but you didn't watch my Maserati MC20 review, did you? I drove a $370,000 car and you're watching me get sweat in my eye while I changed the shift knob on my Fiesta ST. What's wrong with you? Go watch that video. I did a Bentley too. God. Go to revreflection.com, show some class. That is tough. <laughs> okay. Extended performance, full synthetic. Let's do it. You use a funnel. What the hell's a funnel? That's gonna be a fun copyright claim. Yeah. Our neighbors do this fun thing where even if it's 105 degrees outside, they sit in the driveway in their car with their music on full blast. All right, say it with me, folks. You know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, drink up. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah, yeah, drink up. Oh, it's tough. We got brake clean, though. You watched me tighten that bolt twice, the drain plug. Yeah. And I'm still paranoid that it's not tight. Yeah. Hearing it drop into the oil pan, I'm like, oh, it's just pouring on the floor down there. <laughs> Close. That was a pretty good pour. Pretty good pour. I always do that. It needs four and a half quarts. And I stop when there's one left, because I think it's half. I have a ritual of ruining the last half quart of oil every time by pouring all the used oil out of that into it. But first, I'm going to check the oil level, but I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to need a mop full of brake clean after this one. Bring a bucket and a mop. Wow, look how shiny that makes that look though. Pro tip, put oil on your plastic to make it shiny and look new. Oh, even the plastic piping hot. Good Lord. You know how many times I've cleaned that thing and it still doesn't look good anymore? <laughs> I need to do the torch trick. Yeah. Or WD-40. Well, I don't want it to be displaced. And it's not water, so... Yeah. What am I going to use WD-40 for? <laughs> yeah. This dipstick sucks so hard. People changed them. There was an aftermarket company making them, and I almost bought one until people started posting about how they were getting stuck in the engine and they couldn't pull the dipstick out Oh. Anymore. I was like, well, I don't like that plan. Wow. Are you telling me that you want to check your oil level? Yeah, occasionally I would like to. Knock on wood, usually it's been the same when I changed the oil. Six years and, dude, I don't know, 30 oil changes? I used to do it at 5,000. Or, no, I do it at 5,000 now. I used to do it at 10,000, and then for a while I did it at 5,000 before that. So it's had to have at least 30 oil changes. That's insane to think about. You can use a funnel? No. I like to pour it all over this mat. Oh, it's all over the mat. Oh. I was not joking about the oil getting everywhere. Yep. 
Everything's tightened up. Should be good to set the car down now. What is this? I'm gonna go wash this after I finish my shift knob swab. In case you're wondering about why it looks so sweaty, it's not because I'm fat, well, I am, but it's because it's actually like 120 degrees in this garage. It's, I think, 104 out today. That yep. what said. Okay, so typically to do the shift knob on one of these as well, you have to pull the rear suspension out. But thankfully, um, on the Fiesta ST Master Race Forum, V8 Killer 42069 posted a workaround for how to do it with leaving the rear suspension in. So that's the way we're doing it this way. Uh, thank you, Ty Vault. I think that's his real name. Ty Vault Brosley. Cool guy. Really rich dad. Okay, with fresh oil in the car, the shift knob is loose and ready to go, so we have to move on to the next step. glasses are back on for precision mode so now that there's fresh oil in the car it should be pretty easy to just take the shift knob the rest of the way off yeah look at that it's spinning so much easier now wow that's good okay so there you go there's the old shift knob they're usually wrapped in leather but I've driven this car 210,000 miles so my uh aggressively washed man hands have been blowing that leather all to pieces you can see it on the steering wheel as well okay so this is a really important step you're going to want to get one of these they're called placards it's a flossing you know teeth kind of thing what you're going to do is you're going to meticulously go through each and every thread all the way around See how we're coming up the threads? We go this way, we go down the threads. It's just like putting a new shift knob on. But... We really don't want this thing to cross thread. Like I said, super rare, super hard to find. So you gotta take your time and make sure the threads are clean. 
Okay, the next step is you gotta get out your TikTok shop uh, steam cleaner, and this thing is no joke. This is basically a weapon of mass destruction, so safety glasses, obviously. That was terrifying. I can't believe I just used that tool in there, but you have to do it. Okay, moment of truth. Hopefully all that prep work paid off because... <sighs> if this cross threads, because I didn't use the right oil or something. <sighs> oh God, dude. I think it's good. I think we did it. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Dude, that's crazy. Look how good that looks. It's a, it's so much work, but it's worth it. Look at this. See that? You think you could do that with a stock shift knob? Maybe, yeah. No, hell no. Wow, 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 wow. That is beautiful. Look at that, see that? Up, boom, clutch in, boom, reverse. You can go backwards with this shift knob. Can you go backwards with the other one too? Yeah, but not as good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, tedious, a lot of work, but super worth it. Um, hey, watch my car reviews. Go to revreflection.com, read about my stuff, man. If you're still subscribed and you're like, you haven't watched a video in a while because it's been car reviews, just do me a favor and unsubscribe, you know? Why are you still here? Okay, ride or die. Die, I guess. Not actually, you know, I love you guys for being here. My name is Brady Carlson. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat at BigB1011. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Braden Carlson6, if you like high power rockets for some reason. Um, check out Rocket Vlogs, it's my YouTube channel with 150,000 subscribers and somehow the same amount of viewers as this channel. Not somehow, it's because of YouTube Shorts, actually. You know, we're doing what we're doing. Uh, in all seriousness, I did start an automotive journal journalism website called revreflection.com go check it out bookmark it i gotta go do some more stuff because google adsense keeps not letting me put ads on it but uh yeah i'll see you next time